got something on your mind, do you? Did I say that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace, but they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that... that was the day I met my wife. No, no, that was a good memory. There are just much worse ones that followed. I... if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Got something on your mind, do you? How many could you ask me later? How may I be of assistance to you? What is it you would like? Of course. something on your mind. I don't want to talk about that. Yes, you do. You may mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, 
Some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away, to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. <laughs> Partly, maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> There I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, dammit. Got something on your mind, do you? Oh. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like? Of course. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, 
You pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Watawamamulira, King Kunjope Shak. I'm no master, yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question, though the lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shaldan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana nu prata dung no sercha hichua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should, um... You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or Force Lightning, yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything! Please, help us! Silence! It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? No, I think it's you who isn't worth my time. Them I prefer to kill. Just feel lucky I don't squish you while I'm at it. Oh, entertainment can be found at the local cantina. You're not here to try to get in. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great. Just what we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? Hmm? Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? What is this a raffle? How many guesses do we get? Do not provoke them, Karth. Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Go on. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! 
And then... Cute. Maybe you should try juggling next time. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Well, it certainly didn't amuse us, did it? Try again. <sighs> I hate this kind of whining. Do they always have to beg for mercy? Yeah, let's get out of here. Very well, boys. I'm sure we can find something more exciting than these dead fish. Let's go. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? Duke... The Circa Canteen is the only place to go. You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Uchua Penki, Tongi Tuama G, Tongi Tuama Aki Tsuko Tun. Jiska no Soki, Kopa Bono Nakiwa Kaita. Patoga Yakuri Ko. In going of Jiska no Soki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na Wing. Kimba no Kun. Trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here they call us hopefuls. Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy you learn to use the Force. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good. I don't know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty deadly. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, <sighs> I wish I knew to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Uthura Barn who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith master, I hear. Very high rank. She's the one who decides which hopefuls make it in and which ones don't. I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. All right.
Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. Leave me be. No, you may... You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, <laughs> I will be there, laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Meikle's beatings. Is there something specific? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. You demand. Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. And if watching these fools starve themselves amuses me, that's what I'll do. You should not toy with people's lives. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Leave. Leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulation. Just, just a few hours longer. Leave. Just, just... Go on, leave me find me. What do you want? There's not much I could tell you. 
Uh, there are people who... <sighs> I wish I knew. She's a Twi'lek. I really... All right. ちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってち
Thank you. 